So far in today's show, we've learned about geothermal technology, the different looping options, and the inside components that can heat and cool a home with 300% efficiencies. But how does it all happen? Well, let's finish up today's show with our geothermal specialist, Brian Erlob from GeoComfort, who will explain how these amazing systems operate. Well, Stuart, I wanted to bring you out to another location here. And again, this is another existing home who opted for geothermal technology. Kind of following that trend we talked about that even if you have an existing home, it's not just for new construction. You can take advantage of geothermal technology no matter how old your home is. Yeah, absolutely. And with this setting, again, we've got some acreage here. So they opted for a horizontal loop and they did it a little bit differently. We did a racetrack loop here instead of a slinky. But again, we're harnessing the free energy from the earth, bringing that into the home. Okay, retrofit application, similar components to what we just saw. Actually, Stu, they opted to do things a little bit differently. Why don't we go downstairs and take a look? Let's go ahead and take these off and see what's inside. Oh, this is a nice clean system. It looks a little different than what we were just looking at. Yeah, that's right, Stu. This is a little bit different, even though we are here again on a retrofit application. Uh, they had a little bit older system here that they opted to remove the entire system and go in with a complete package geothermal system rather than keeping the gas furnace and adding on geothermal they just went with one complete system. Sure, and as I look up here, they're utilizing the existing ductwork. So again, a retrofit isn't all that difficult when you're talking about geothermal technology. Yep, that's correct. Okay, one of the questions I get asked all the time, and we kind of touched on it out at the loop field, is how a system operates. How can this be three to 400% efficient? So let's walk through the components and talk about the magic of the compressor. Absolutely. Well, this is our brand new Compass Series product uh, from GeoComfort, and there's a lot of innovation in this machine, but we'll go through the actual components and go through how this works. So really what we have inside the box is we've got three major components. We've got a compressor, we've got a water to refrigerant heat exchanger, and we've got an air to refrigerant heat exchanger. So two heat exchangers. So the water to refrigerant heat exchanger in the heating mode is absorbing heat energy from that fluid that's being circulated from the ground. And that's usually about 50 degrees as we've mentioned. Yeah, 50 degrees all the way through down to 30 throughout the winter time as we remove heat from the ground. And that energy then gets absorbed into the refrigeration system. And that's part of the compressor. So through that heat exchange process, we absorb the energy. The compressor then intensifies that energy through heat of compression. Of course, that's electric driven, okay? And once that energy then is intensified, we take it to the second heat exchanger, which now we blow air across, which releases all that heat energy into the airstream, into the ductwork, and then obviously is heating the home. So of course, when you use the term intensify, what that compressor is doing is raising the temperature of that refrigerant up to a temperature, say, what, about 100 degrees, 120 degrees, somewhere in there, so that then that can be distributed through the house, because you wouldn't want 50 degree air temperature being circulated through during the winter time. Yeah, that's exactly right, Stu. We've got 50 degree, 40 degree groundwater coming in. This is intensifying it to about 100 degrees, which then will keep your home nice and comfortable at 70, 72 degrees. Okay, what about in the summertime when we want to cool our homes? Well, that's a great question. In this machine here, there's a valve called a reversing valve, and what that simply does is reverses the flow of energy. We still have the two heat exchangers. Now we're blowing warm air across this heat exchanger, absorbing the heat energy again. We're still intensifying because we've got to remove the energy through with the compressor. And we're taking all that heat energy now and putting it into this heat exchanger, which is dumping out into the nice cool ground. So instead of having an air conditioner sitting outside your home working hard when it's 95, our air conditioner is working at 50 degree ground temperature, so it makes it more efficient. Now you mentioned this is the new Compass series. What sets it apart from previous versions? Well, that's a great question, and yeah, you're right. Uh, this is a new product by GeoComfort, and there's a lot of innovation in this product, and it kind of sets us apart in the industry. Number one is, if you look at where the compressor is mounted right here, and notice it's up off the ground. What we've done here is we've mounted on top of the heat exchanger, which really takes in all the vibration and all the noise from the compressor and soaks that up to make it one of the quietest products on the market. And I know that's very important for homeowners. The last thing you want is to install a a very nice system like this but to have it rattling or being noisy. Absolutely, we've got a compressor now indoors versus outdoors, so we wanna make sure it's uh, very, very quiet for the homeowner. And another great feature that kind of sets us apart from the competition is this right here. Our heat exchanger is foamed in, okay, where a lot of people are wrapping it with tape. So what we've done is we've eliminated any corrosion and any condensation on that heat exchanger, which just gives us more reliability and longevity. Yeah, I would think that could be very susceptible to condensation because you're bringing in cool temperatures and it might be warmer in the basement and you know that could lead to condensation so you're not going to have to worry about that being insulated. Right exactly and a couple other things um, as you can see here we've mounted our control box and all our electronics up at eye level. 
where most products all have those down at the bottom, so now you're working on your knees. Now again, this is maybe not as much for the consumer, but this is fantastic for the service technician and helps them be able to troubleshoot or diagnose any issues that may arise, but everything is here up at eye level. And the other big thing that sets GeoComfort apart from everybody else is how we design our systems, really more focused on the heating dominant climates. Overall, we've got the highest heating outputs. And of course, the biggest thing then is, is the uh, upgrade in efficiencies and capacities. We lead the industry in heating capacity and across the board overall in efficiencies. So with the quietness, the reliability, and the efficiencies, this really makes this product one of the best in the market. Well, it makes sense. A company, as we've seen on today's show, that continues to evolve keep pushing the industry, making it more consumer friendly, more contractor friendly. At the end, it's a win-win for everybody involved. Absolutely. Okay, what about the domestic hot water side? Are they taking advantage of that as well? Yeah, absolutely, they took advantage of that as well. We've got a desuperheater uh, connected on this machine or a hot water generator. And so anytime it heats and cools their home, we're making some hot water for their domestic use. And the great thing about that in cooling, like a day like today, we're, you know, a nice hot day, we're taking all that heat energy, instead of dumping it out in the ground, we're gonna take some of that and put it in their water heater because they've already paid to cool their home. That's free energy. Yeah, it is free, so you might be paying a little bit, a lot more cost effective in the winter, but it's a real big bonus in the summertime. Virtually all your domestic hot water can come from the desuperheater at no cost to you. Yep, absolutely. Okay, what about the operation of the system? Is there a learning curve for a homeowner that installs a geothermal system? Well, that's a great question because everybody thinks it's so much different than a conventional system, but really you have the same typical thermostat on the wall you would normally have. You set your comfort range, you set it to heat, to cool, and it just does what you're asking it to do. So there really isn't anything different as far as the operation and again, even the maintenance that we talked about. Well, as we've seen on today's show, whether you're in the city, in the country, a new home, existing home, look into geothermal technology and take advantage of all that free energy being stored in the earth. I appreciate you coming on and walking us through it. Yeah, my pleasure. For more information on geothermal technology or to find a dealer near you, contact geocomfort.com. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on Today's Home Remodeler. For more information about today's topic and upcoming episodes of Today's Home Remodeler, please visit these websites. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.